So we're almost done cleaning the bathroom. Now I just want to remind you, when you clean the bathtub, pay attention to the faucets. Wipe those down as well. When you clean the sink, wipe it down with a green scrubber. Now this has been sitting for a minute. I also cleaned the door, the toilet handle, flushed the toilet. Knock this around a few times to get all the water off. And take it back to the toilet bowl holder over here. Now, I want you to notice the sink of water. That is for our mop. Here's the mop. Place it inside the water so it can soak up water. It's very dry. Take this bleach bottle and spray the bleach about five or six times. That is just to make sure that it gets all disinfected so you can use it. Now, I don't know if you can see the mirrors, but they're very dirty. Can you see all that crud? All those spots and stuff? Pretty gross, right? So here's what we're going to do. I have this special soap that I made. It's underneath the kitchen sink. It's vinegar, water, and a small amount of dish soap. So I'm just going to spray that onto the mirror. This is my version of Windex. I don't like Windex personally. So I'll let that set for a second while I grab the paper towel. And my first paper towel is going to be extremely dry. And I'm just going to dry, try and dry up as much as possible. And then once I get most of it dried up, I'm going to take a, another different piece of dry one and wipe it to make sure that all the smears get taken off. Now this is a special solution that they've been using since the olden days. It's very easy. It gets it very clean. So you're going to want to do that to the whole mirror. Now once the mirrors are done, you take the mop and mop the floor. Make sure you re